Hi, my amazing planner friends. It's Jess from My Magical Planner. And today we're going to be setting up my weekly actions or weekly goals in my Moxie Life Companion notebook for the week of October 21st through the 27th. Now, I've said this before, you don't have to have a Moxie Life planner or notebook to follow along. You can set your goals however you want. This is just meant to be a kind of plan with me in a goal setting environment. And I'll freely admit, I am not a expert or anything like that. I'm just a mom trying to do her best. And this is something that is helpful for me. And so I wanted to share it with you guys. That being said, let's go over the format of the video so that you know that. So if you want to skip around, you can. I'm going to go over last week's goals first. We'll check off anything that I can check off. We'll do our reflections, which is what this page is. I've already wrote them out. So we'll just be reading them. And then we will set this week's goals within mind towards completing our monthly goals. All right. So first thing first, let's go back to last week. It was overall, I think, a good week. So for personal, I had my overarching goal as a mental reset. Um, I had finished Dan's senior pictures. I actually did not get that done. So that's going to be something that's going to need to roll over into this next week and use my planner to pre-plan and my AM routine. Those were both things I could check off. They helped a lot this week. It was just, I had a bad week the prior week. And so it was getting back into the groove of things. Focus on joy was my fun and recreational goal. Um, I did start a new book. It's an Agatha Christie. I think it's called the ABC Murders. And it's really good because I love Agatha Christie. Um, and make a 90s country playlist. I did that as well. So we're doing good there. As far as work and learning, which is essentially YouTube for me. Um, Pre-plan November. It's done. Work on videos for the trip. I've got some done. We're going to be working on more of those this coming week. As far as family and relationship, I have Dan's senior band performance. It was his last marching band performance, so we made it to that. And chores with kids or the reminders. We'll be talking about that one more in our reflections. Did not go well. I did try to remind them, but we we had to have a sit down discussion about how these things go and brainstorm what to do. Um, so we'll go over that in our reflections. As far as health and wellness, I had my overarching goal as self-care this last week. Um, I had meds and H2O tracking, so I did really good on my meds. Not surprised, I usually do. And as far as meds, what I'm talking about is I have intestinal meds. I have several that I have to take to keep my stomach kind of in check. And then um, I also have some anxiety meds and the combination of the two, just making sure I'm on track with everything so I don't get overwhelmed or get sick. Um, I did miss like two days the prior week, I think is why I put this as a priority. And then um, the H2O tracking, that actually helps a lot with me making sure I get enough water because like a lot of people, it's a challenge for me. Um, water actually makes me nauseous, strangely enough, especially if I drink it too fast. And yeah, anyhow. Um, so that one, I gave myself half credit for eating better. I did give myself credit there. Was it perfect? No. Was it better than the previous week? Yes. So we're counting it. I did try some aromatherapy. This was just me setting up a diffuser every morning or lighting a candle to have a nice smell around me. And that seems to have helped. So I'm going to be combining that with some other things to kind of continue that trajectory. I did a daily log of gratitude for my personal growth, and I'm going to continue that this next week. I really think that is helping with my overall mental state. For financial, I had pre-planning. I had table mate gifts for the conference that I'm going to be going to. Those have been ordered. Pre-planning trip and call Disney for reward points. Um, I have a Disney visa, so I can use my re reward points to go towards my hotel. And I haven't done that yet. There were some other things that came up that took priority and I, I just ran out of time. So that hasn't happened yet. I, I think I'm going to be rolling that one over as well. As far as physical environment, I've been kind of focusing on for the past about two months, organizing paperwork, which is a bigger project than I thought it would be. <laughs> but um, I did file the household paperwork that came in this last week. I didn't get much else done. It was a busy week. So I, I did kind of plan that. As far as yard cleanup, we're going to give half credit here. Um, 
there's a story with that. <laughs> but we got some things done. We'll just leave it at that. If you want the full story, I'm probably going to tell it with my weekly planning, which will come out on Sunday. <laughs> Okay, that all being said, let's go over our reflections. So Moxie Life gives us a bunch of questions to ask ourselves before we go into the next week to make sure that we're evaluating how the previous week went. I find it really helpful in figuring out, well, what is what really happened this last week and seeing the good points as well as the bad. So the first question they ask you is wins. What were your wins this last week? So I put um, prep work on my YouTube videos for my trip um, and in general organizing my workspace. I actually did a side quest and organized most of my desk area, not all of it, <laughs> but most of it and decluttered a bunch of stuff. Um, aromatherapy was nice and uplifting. So I'm going to continue that. Kids are super happy. They actually all on their own, like played games together on Saturday, which as a mom, it's always a nice thing to see your kids happy and goofing around together and everything. So those are my big wins. What worked? Taking breaks, planner reminders. I did some block timing, which really helped as far as filming and editing my videos and my morning routine slash checklist. So essentially the night before, I'll write out everything that I need to do for the next day. I'll kind of do a brain dump about what's going on the next day and that kind of thing. And those things are really helpful for me right now. What didn't work? My mental energy and actual energy were super low this last week. I think in part because I wasn't maybe sleeping as well as I could. And honestly, I don't know that I was eating breakfast or lunch most days. Um, so I need to make sure that I have the fridge stocked with like my protein drinks. Um, if you're unaware for my channel, um, I do have a bunch, like I said, I have a bunch of stomach meds. I, I lost a large portion of my stomach. And so I have, I can't eat a ton. Uh, and so I have to be very conscious of protein and other, you know, vitamins and such, but, um, protein is the biggest one that seems to affect my energy level. And if I don't get enough protein, then my energy level kind of tanks. So I don't think I was getting enough protein this last week, which kind of led into the energy. And when your energy is low, your mental energy is also low, at least for me. So I think that was a big thing that wasn't working great. The kids' chores were a struggle this last week. They kept forgetting. I was getting frustrated. They were getting frustrated. So we had a big powwow about that. You know, the fact that I can't do everything and that they're old enough to share the load. I mean, my youngest is 12. <laughs> she can do a load of laundry. She can load the dishwasher. It's not a big deal. But we are we are still working on that. We need some adjustments to the chore calendar. We are going to be implementing a another kind of level of a natural consequence along with that, which is that, so when they don't do their base chores, which I'll give an instance of, they need to pick up the kitchen, load the dishwasher and, you know, just tidy up the floor, sweep. If they don't do those things, then I can't come in and mop because I have to do their things before I can mop. And so the natural consequence is going to be, well, I'll do their chore and they do mine or something along that lines. Maybe we're going to combine the two and I have to supervise. We're still kind of flushing that one out, but that is the general idea. Lessons. Well, I just talked about the chores. Me and my husband need to work a little bit more on communication. We had some missteps this last week just because he forgot to tell me things and so plans changed and I wasn't aware. And that was really frustrating for me. Um, kids are forgetting chores. We talked about that and always follow up in our family. People forget side effect of ADHD. If you also are unaware, I have an entire family of neurospicy individuals, myself included now. Um, I have ADHD. My husband has ADHD. Our kids have ADHD. <laughs> we also have some autism um, kind of put in there and some anxiety just for the spice of life, you know. <laughs> so it's really important to follow up and know that sometimes people aren't forgetting because it's not important, 
but because they are just forgetting because their brains are that way. That being said, it's not an excuse. Like there are things we can do to alleviate that. There are sticky notes. There are reminders on phones and various other things we can implement to help with that. But there also has to be some understanding there. As far as actions go, here's what I have. I, I need to focus on building up my energy. That means maybe putting a little bit more thought and pre-planned meals, making sure things are on hand that are easy. And I can just grab, be it a protein shake, or, you know, maybe I prep some lunches at the beginning of the week, that type of thing. And it also will help me from grabbing the food that maybe I shouldn't eat because it'll be easy to grab the food that I should. An example of that would be um, yesterday. <laughs> so my kids love chili. So I make chili for them. I am not supposed to have chili. It has tomatoes in it. it you know, it has beef. I'm beef is harder for me. I, I was tired. So I went ahead and grabbed a bowl, not the worst decision in the world. It was food, but it causes asset reflux to flare up for me and for me to just not feel great. So it wasn't a great decision in that regard. And if I had had something that was just on hand, I could have grabbed that instead. So that's kind of where that's coming from. And we talked about how I'm going to be kind of tweaking some of the chore consequences a little bit. And that's pretty much everything for my reflections for this week. The last thing I have down here is actually something that I've added, which is called Weekly Intention. I got this from the Tati Teacher Planned. I love her channel. She's amazing. And I'll link her down below in case you guys want. And this week's intention is to have a calm week and steps to a better me. Be there for my kids and work with them to make adjustments. That's mostly leaning into that chore area. All right. Now we're going to be starting our weekly actions. And just as a review, so you, we know what we're working towards, we're going to take a look at our monthly goals because I find that really helpful. So for monthly goals in personal, I want it to be creative, do something creative each day or each week, um, create a Christmas card, um, and to use different stickers in my planning each week. Most of those so far have gone really well outside of the photo editing stuff. So I think this week, my main goal is going to be, I'll put two on here, is to pick a day for photo editing. Because if it's not scheduled, I think that's the problem I'm I'm doing the other things, but this is more of, I need a big time block to do it. So we're going to put that down. And the other thing that we're going to put down here is to pick a Christmas card design. So I used to do photography for other people. And I had a very, very small photography business, kind of word of mouth type thing that I did. And it was really successful, but I ran out of energy to do it when I got sick. So I still have a lot of the leftovers from that, including a couple of shops that I like to use for a, um, a Christmas card design. And so I'll get the design and then I'll tweak it to fit whatever I want to do for our family for that year or whoever else I was doing it for. But I think that's a big thing this week is just picking it. So I'm going to put those two down. Now for fun and recreation. My big focus is joy, which is the same focus I had as last month. And it was to read two books and make another playlist. I can actually check off make another playlist. But for books, I think I want to finish my Agatha Christie book. I think I have four hours left on it. So while I'm doing laundry or something, I'll just listen to it. Uh, finish book and pick next book, which in theory is not too hard, but sometimes it is. Because there's so many books I want to read, but there's also a balance of what am I in the mood for? <laughs> I'm sure you all can understand. 
All right. As far as work and learning, which is YouTube, like I said, um, let me find our right page. There we are. I should put a bookmark, right? <laughs> My big focus is pre-planning. I have a trip at the very beginning of next month and I want to make sure that I am well prepared for that. So my goal is to have everything uploaded by Wednesday of the week before, then pre-plan everything and make sure I'm sticking to it. Kind of making sure that everything's in place for that trip. So that being said, I think we have three things I want to get done this week. The first is to edit this week's videos by Wednesday. The second is to record. I think I need six videos. Yeah, I think it's, so we're gonna say four. for our trip. Like I've already started to record stuff, but it it's all about placing in the right spot. And then brain dump. Sorry. Um, with my dyslexia, sometimes I'm like, B goes which way, D goes which way. <laughs> and I have to really think about it. Brain dump for uh, start of November. Just kind of what all I need to do and make sure that I have my plan in place. I've kind of pre-planned things out, but it's always good to really just go over everything another time and make sure that we have the right plan. So for family relationships, my focus this month is on chores, obviously. So we had weekly chore rotation posted with clear expectations that has been done. However, it is not really being followed through on. So we're going to make three things this week. One, it is my responsibility to check in with them. Um, I'm going to say at seven or after dinner. Now, this is a reminder I'm going to have to give to myself to check in with them to make sure they're doing their chores. The next thing is these are reward and consequence based. So consequence of not doing. extra work and reward. This is mostly for my girls. The boys don't seem to be having as much of an issue doing chores. They are forgetting sometimes, but with a reminder, it's, it's not a big deal. So for rewards for the girls, if they, they clean the rooms they're supposed to, they can get rides. However, I just realized this, I can't, drive them from I can't drive them until after Wednesday I'm gonna have to re rethink that I'm gonna come up with a different reward the reason I can't drive them yeah I was mowing the lawn and the lawnmower threw something at my minivan and um yeah completely shattered the back window so until I can get that fixed I don't feel safe driving it <laughs> Because there's a lot of glass involved and there's, you know, stuff everywhere. And I don't want something to get kicked up. I, I've i never drove a car without a back window. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm going to have to think of the rewards. We're going to come up with something today. For health and wellness. Also, that's why um, yard cleanup was kind of a half between that and something else that happened. <laughs> Okay, so for health and wellness, I, my main thing is lower my stress. I had different things that I wanted to try. 
And so I think this week, I don't know that I'm going to necessarily add anything so much as combine something. So I'm going to continue with the aromatherapy. And we're going to combine it with journaling for five minutes. And then our other big thing is eating for energy. Slash pre-plan meals. So that'll be something I'll probably do on Monday. Next, we have spiritual and personal growth. I'm just trying to continue a gratitude log all month. So we're just going to put another week of gratitude log, which is totally cool. Easy. There are all these talks out there that talk about the benefits of gratitude. And I just think it's really fascinating. And it's actually been really helpful. It helps you switch your mindset for financial. So I still need to do a little bit of pre-planning. Uh, meals or trip. Because I just... <sighs> I need to talk to the person I'm going to be meeting up with there and figure out where she wants to go to eat. I know we're going to go to, so the conference is in Orlando. And so we have, it's actually at the SeaWorld Hotel, I think. And then, so I'll be there for a couple of days. And then since I have an annual pass to Disney and I have reward points, I'm going to go down to Disney for a few days. And she's also a big Disney person. So we're going to do Disney for a few days. So that being said, I know that we're going to do Epcot for the food and wine festival at least one day, but I don't know if there's any other places that she wanted to go for food. So I need to check in on that. The other thing I need to do is reserve a car and do that rewards points thing for my hotel. It's really, so my Disney trips, you would think they would be super expensive, but they're actually not because my husband travels for work. So he gets me usually a ticket to go down with miles, so usually costing me about $12 plus however many miles I stole from him. And then if I use my Disney visa, I kind of get all these points that I can use for my hotel. So I use that to mostly pay for my hotel. I won't usually pay for all of my hotel, depending on where I'm staying, but it really brings the cost down. And then I don't eat a ton. So I usually, usually it's about, depending on how long I, I stay, no more than a hundred dollars a day on food and water and incidentals and that kind of thing. And I have an annual pass that my husband gets me every year for like Christmas or birthday. So the combination of all of that really makes my trips affordable. And that's why it's one of the places that I go to all the time. Just saying, if you're ever, you know, you can be frugal about these things. <laughs> as far as physical environment, I do have I think two things I want it to do. So like I said, I've been working Actually, we're going to put three things. Hold on. Sorry. I've been working on the household paperwork. So I have everything in file folders, but I need to clear out space. We have this huge filing cabinet. My husband just uses it to store other things. No files. <laughs> in filing cabinet. Or paperwork. And then I need to file anything that arrives this week by Sunday. 
And the other thing is, so like I said, I was organizing my desk. So I have like a big Ikea. I have a big Ikea desk. And so I have three drawers yet to organize. <laughs> and that's it. Um, So I can count that as done. It's one of those things that I do every couple of months and I'll, any of the pens I'm not using or that no longer work for whatever reason, I can get rid of those. I go through, you know, there's just miscellaneous stuff that I realize I'm no longer using. Maybe my planning style has changed. I need to go through all my sticker kits because I have so many that are for a, a5 wide planner and I'm now using a Hobonichi and figuring out, well, do I hold on to them? I've spent so much money getting them, but at the same time, they're not doing anyone any good just sitting here. So I have to have that whole discussion with myself. <laughs> but anyhow, these are my weekly actions. I hope this was helpful for you guys. Let me know what you're doing this week. Like what is your big goal for the week? And Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. I've appreciated all the comments lately. I know I'm not always the fastest at responding. I try to be, but it depends on life, but I really appreciate all of you. All right, guys, that's all I have for today. Thank you for watching. And I really appreciate all of you guys. I hope this was helpful to you and that you found something that would inspire you to make your own week just a little bit better. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button over there and don't forget to hit, give it a thumbs up. And until next time, I'll see you real soon.